Hello, class. Welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Angel Di Maria, as it has been reported that Di Maria is set to turn down Juventus in favor of a Barcelona move. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then, secondly, talking about veteran Gerard Piquet. It has been reported that manager Javi Hernandez does not count on Piquet as a starter for next season. We are going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Following his exit from Paris Saint-Germain, Angel Di Maria has emerged as a sought-after prospect in the transfer market this summer, with multiple clubs including FC Barcelona interested in his services. Juventus had emerged as the likely suitor for Di Maria as they do have a habit of roping in free agents every summer. However, according to a report relayed by Actualité Barca, the attacker is on the verge of rejecting Juve. It appears the Argentine international has made a sensational U-turn on his desire to play for the Italian franchise. The report states the reasoning behind the rejection remains unknown, but it could be a personal matter for the player. Di Maria's no to Juventus comes in the midst of widespread speculation over Barcelona's interest in the player. Currently in the market for a right winger, in light of Usman Dembele's likely exit, Barca had identified the former Real Madrid man as an ideal alternative for top target Rafinha. Available for a free transfer, Di Maria was targeted as a cost-effective alternative for Rafinha, whereas his vast experience at the highest level of football was valued highly by coach Xavi Hernandez. Needless to say, Di Maria's rejection has put Barcelona on high alert. Portuguese giants Benfica are involved in the equation as well, as they look to bring their prodigal son back to Lisbon. Between the two, though, the experienced attacker could be tempted to move to Barca and join the list of special players who have played for both Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. However, with two months still remaining before the new season kicks off, it will be interesting to see how things transpire over the coming weeks and what the future holds for Angel Di Maria this summer. It's been claimed Di Maria wants a Barcelona move and Barca also wants him. And uh, there was a time we were hearing about negotiations going on between the two parties, but nothing has been updated so far on that. You know, but Barcelona still remain the favorite to land Di Maria. All this just because the Rafinha um, the Rafinha transfer saga, you know, is proving to be complicated because Leeds United are demanding a very, very huge sum, which Barcelona will find it very difficult to pay. That's just the truth, you know, because Rafinha is the preferred option given the fact that he is young, he is still having a lot of years to play, and also given the fact that we are in a building process, you know, players at that age bracket or players like Rafinha could have made more sense you know but as it stands right now Barca don't have any choice if they think that they cannot afford Rafinha you know they just have to find somebody to play that right wing and of course given the fact that Di Maria is a world-class player he has played a lot of games he has he's so experienced and Except just for his age, which is a disadvantage because he will not play again for that long. Barca just want to at least have him to be there. You know, why sorting out our financial issues in the in the coming seasons? You know, because Usman Dembele will be leaving and Barca don't want to leave that right wing empty next season. They must look for somebody who will play that wing, you know, and Team Maria have been identified and reports are saying that it is coach Javi Hernandez who have highly recommended Barca to go for Di Maria. So given the fact that Di Maria is a free agent, negotiations look pretty easy compared to when like other players that belong to a club where the club can make life so difficult and with Di Maria there's no transfer fee involved, we just have to talk about his wages. So as it stands, nothing has been concluded yet with Di Maria's camp 
you know, but it is expected that negotiations will resume somewhere soon, you know, to discuss about his potential um, arrival to the Camp Nou. Juventus have been strongly laying and this report that we have just spoken about, claiming that he has rejected Juventus and he prefers coming to Barcelona. Then on to the next story of discussion, a recent report from Mundo Deportivo has offered a detailed update on the future of Gerard Piquet, which is clouded to say the least. The defender, who still has a contract at Camp Nou until 2024, does not enter Javi's plans as a regular starter for next season. The player and the coach had met face to face a couple of weeks ago, where Javi had informed Piquet that he does not see him as a first team regular next season. The Barcelona boss had cited his injury problems and a high salary as potential problem areas for the club, especially in the midst of an economic crisis. It was thus suggested at the time that Barca would be keen on offloading Piquet in the summer. However, it appears the defender has informed Xavi of his desire to remain at Camp Nou. He wants to fight for his place for the first team next season and prove him wrong. The veteran defender, currently the highest paid player in the Barcelona camp, is also willing to lower his wages in order to help Barcelona sign newer players in the market. In an awkward turn of fate, Barca must make use you know, the, of the opportunity to complete the signing of Andres Christensen. The Dane is likely to be brought in as a long-term solution to the club's defensive problem and a potential replacement for Piquet. From a sporting perspective, Piquet may have to compete with Eric Garcia for a place in the first team next season, given the former's lack of consistency, especially in big matches. One would imagine it might not be difficult for Piquet to gain prominence in the first team. However, the arrival of Christensen could alter the prospects, especially if the day futures on the left side of the defense. Barcelona though ideally want to sign a new player who is more capable of operating in that position. The likes of Jos Kounde and Kalido Koulibaly have been muted as potential um, for the new season, though the club have its tax cash out, cut out if they are to afford any of the two established centre defenders this summer. If Barcelona don't bring in either Koulibaly or the Jos Kounde we have been talking about, then I don't see this report even making sense because um, PK is still far better than all those center backs except Ronald Araujo. So I don't think that even if Barca don't succeed because of financial reasons to bring in, um, let me say, for instance, Kalidu Koulibaly, he does not come to Barca. You know, I, I still see PK, you know, being that starting 11 defender. You know, Eric Garcia, we cannot say Eric Garcia will be a starting 11. We cannot say um, um, even Christensen coming. Christensen is not a player that I think can be convincing enough, convincing enough to be a, a starter in FC Barcelona. You know, apart from Ronald Araujo and Piquet, I think those are just the two. Those are the two pairings in centre back that we can say we trust. You know, we saw the the combination this past season was brilliant. Um, if Javi is saying to Piquet that he he does not want to count on him as a starter next season, maybe I think. Yeah, age-wise, and also given the fact that injury problems, PK have been suffering some long-term injuries. Even most of the times, he used to play, you know, by forcing it, and we can now see that he finally went for surgery. But apart from that, I don't think if we don't succeed to get the desired center backs that we want to get, I don't see PK being on the bench most of the time. Except we see Koulibaly comes, then all right, then Xavi will prioritize Koulibaly and Ronald Arago pairing on that back. If not, then PK still has to start more than Eric Garcia, more than Christensen. I, I, I very much think that will be the case. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Until next time, it's bye for now.